let's review how to do some neck stretches. So we're gonna do rotation and lateral flexion. So if you're at the head of the table, whether it's a diaper changing table or on your couch, you can do it this way. So we're gonna take the head, I like to cut behind, and we're gonna turn all the way to one side, that's called rotation, and hold down the shoulder or the pec on the opposite side, just like this. And we'll hold, I like to do 20 second holds where possible. So same thing on the other side, so I like to rotate by cupping the head. We're not gonna go against resistance. So if they say no thank you, we're gonna wait until they allow us to. I find oftentimes I go pop, 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 and I bring their attention to the way I am, they will follow. So same thing, I'm gonna rotate this direction and hold down the shoulder on the opposite side. There's not one way to do this. So if you get creative, that's totally fine. Now lateral flexion is gonna be ear to shoulder. So I'm gonna bring, same thing, I'm cupping behind his head, bring his ear to his shoulder, and then I'm gonna hold down his shoulder on the opposite side to just get a little bit more of a stretch. So this is lateral flexion. I'll show it in the other direction to his left side. So same thing, I'm cupping the back of the head, bringing ear to shoulder and holding down the opposite shoulder to get a little bit more of a stretch. Now this is from the head of the table. Now if maybe I'm doing a diaper change and I'm facing baby, we can do the same thing. So I'm going to cup the head from behind to do that lateral flexion that we just did pulling down the shoulder on the opposite side. For rotation, same thing, I'm cupping the head and rotating over and holding the pec down the opposite side. Sometimes baby will not allow those stretches on the table, so we'll bring them up into the arms. So rotation can be done really nicely in your arms. So we're gonna have him look all the way over his left side. I'm holding down the back of his head here and his shoulder to get that extra stretch. And then I can just bounce and get that nice rotation. So it's not just the head, I wanna also get that shoulder, so hold the back of the upper back here, pinned against your chest, and then go ahead and get that extra turn with the rest of your hand in that rotation that you can bounce around. Now for lateral flexion, you can get creative in your arms, and you can bring that ear to shoulder while you're bouncing around with baby, because a lot of times they want movement while they're doing this stretch, because it cannot feel the best for them if they're tight. So I can get lateral flexion this way. I can also get rotation in my arms too. So if I need some movement, I can do that same thing that I would do on the table where I cup the back of the head and I turn into rotation. Sometimes it can be easier for people to use their arm and move the body. So right here you'll see that his arm is resting, or sorry, his shoulder, his head is resting on my arm. I'm bringing him into lateral flexion, so ear to shoulder. And I might add in a little bit more of the body stretch to it as well. So you'll see his hips are moving up towards me and I'm getting a stretch this way. So the whole point of showing you all these different positions is that there's not one way to stretch the neck. You can get creative. If we're trying to get rotation, do what you need to do to get baby to look fully over their shoulder or if we're doing lateral flexion to get their ear to their shoulder. So it doesn't matter if it's on a table or in your arms. The idea is to get that neck to stretch and to get that range of motion if it's rotation for your child or lateral flexion.